Now we've all heard the story of Steve Jobs the founder of Apple, and you won't want to be that guy. If fundraising from VC funds is on your cards, you will most likely start the conversation with a fundraising term sheet. Is a term sheet legally binding and what potential pitfalls should you avoid? Hi, my name is Rachel, I'm a startup lawyer, and in this video, we'll be covering the key terms in a fundraising term sheet, as well as potential pitfalls to avoid. Is a fundraising term sheet legally binding? You'd be surprised to know that certain terms within the fundraising term sheet could be legally binding even if the term sheet as a whole is not. For example, terms regarding confidentiality, exclusivity, as well as costs tend to be expressed to be legally binding. The key takeaway for founders? Know what you're signing before you sign it. Key terms in a fundraising term sheet. Your fundraising term sheet will likely cover key terms such as the amount of investment, the mode of investment, as well as the conditions to the investment. A common fallacy that founders have is thinking that monies will be wired once the documents are signed. This may not be true if there's such a thing as conditions precedent embedded in a document. It simply means that certain things have to be satisfied before the funds are wired. If these conditions take a long time to be satisfied, you may wish to move them from conditions precedent to conditions subsequent so that you have more certainty on when the investment will be wired. Second, your fundraising term sheet will most likely contain provisions relating to key investor rights, such as preemptive rights, most favored nations clause, reserve national rights, as well as information rights. I tend to take a bit more comfort if the fundraising term sheet states standard provisions will apply because roughly translated, it means that these provisions will be negotiated at the long-form documentation stage. If the term sheet contains long-form provisions of such clauses, it may be time to call for professional help. The fundraising term sheet will also most likely cover things relating to board composition. As a founder, you would like to think about how the board composition plays out throughout your fundraising round. Our solution to this is to play around with certain factors such as board observer versus board seat, quorum requirements and adjourn meeting requirements as well as the scope of board reserve matters. Now we've all heard the story of Steve Jobs being kicked out of Apple and you won't want to be that guy. Remember, it's difficult to unsign what you have signed. So if the term sheet contains any confusing terms that Google cannot answer, such as drag along, tag along, most favorite nations clause, right of first refusal versus right of first offer, it may be time to call a lawyer. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and remember to like it, share it, and comment below if you have any stories to share. Bye-bye.